Before you sign up for DoorDash, Postmates, Grubhub, Uber Eats, all of them, there's some things you need to consider. And there's one really big thing you need to consider that could change the entire scope of that work. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Mike, and this channel is dedicated to your success in the gig economy, the side hustle. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. Also tons of resources and accessories on my Amazon storefront, as well as our brand new Discord community, both of those linked down below in the description. So if I asked you why are you signing up to drive with DoorDash or really any of these apps, I bet 95% of the answers would basically be to generate some income. And whether you plan on doing this part-time or full-time, a update from really just days ago may change how you do that work. That is Proposition 22 here in California, which is challenging the classification of these gig workers. Now, if you're not in California, I still want you to consider this. Now, this ruling started with Assembly Bill 5 back in September of 2019, where it was ruled that rideshare companies, Uber and Lyft, had to classify their workers as employees, not independent contractors. So just to get you up to speed, if you're not familiar with any of these apps, traditionally, you are an independent contractor, which means you can set your own hours, you can drive when you want, right? And you can deny requests on these apps that don't make sense to you. So going back to that rolling with Uber and Lyft, they must classify their workers as employees by August 20th in just a couple of days. Now, an article from the Financial Times states that they are, both companies are expected to appeal. And I gotta tell you, as someone who's been in this space since 2015, this has been an argument that's gone back and forth for just as many years. Are you an employee under really any of these apps or are you an independent contractor? Now, as an independent contractor, you're not getting any of the W-2 benefits that you would get as an employee. The healthcare, the vision, the sick time, the vacation time. So a lot of us like the flexibility. That's a lot of what was advertised when this kind of whole industry came out is basically being your own boss, driving when you want. Bringing this back to DoorDash, the Financial Times article states that the company said its internal data suggested the majority of its workers wanted to remain as contractors. Continuing that the flexibility over working hours and location would not be possible under an employee model. So that's big. If you were reclassified as an employee, if you lost the flexibility over again, the hours and or the location, how would that affect you and your really willingness to drive on those apps? And I'm bringing this up because if things like this pass here in California, if the classification does change now, not only like we mentioned for Uber and Lyft, that is already changing. Of course, it's expected to be appealed. But if these classifications change in the delivery space, because Uber Eats is actually not under that AB5 classification, if these things change in the delivery space, then if it happens here, you may see a trickle over into your marketplace. Continuing on, an article from Gizmodo states that DoorDash had data that said that 98%, kind of like the article that we just mentioned, 98% of drivers want to remain independent contractors. Now that article got kind of heated as the author disagreed with that figure, but I'm not sure I disagree with that figure. Being in this space and seeing this argument made year over year, from what I've seen in the driver forums, the polls from these companies, it does seem like that. It seems like the vast majority of drivers want to remain independent contractors. Are things changing? I don't know. Let us know down below in the comments. Would you prefer to be an independent contractor or would you like to have maybe less control over your driving, but have some benefits as an employee. Now, if you're signing up now for DoorDash, you will be an independent contractor. That's regardless of what marketplace and even what app as Uber Eats is not affected by that reclassification on the rideshare side. So if you're signing up for delivery, you will be an independent contractor, but you may want to have your ear to the ground. Follow this story over the next couple of weeks and months. Now, I wanna bring this back to kind of the ground level right now. If you are considering signing up, I wanna highlight earnings and safety because at least from what I've seen here in San Diego and just doing the driving with Uber Eats series with my brother in, he's in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, I've seen that the earnings have been quite good. I've seen that the bonuses are pretty good and that may be a testament to again, tying this back into safety in driver numbers. So if you are considering signing up now, now may be a good time to sign up as there is bonuses, pretty decent incentives, 
but of course I want you to consider the safety aspect as well. Now most all of these companies are giving out some kind of PPE, some personal protective equipment, whether that be mask, gloves, and or hand sanitizer. And then when it comes to taxes, I just want you to be aware of that as well when it comes to earnings. Now, I'm not a financial specialist, I'm not a CPA, so this isn't legal, financial, or tax advice, but your earnings, it is gross revenue, and that's before taxes are taken out. So I recommend setting aside about 20 to 30% of your gross revenue for taxes. Talk to your tax professional because you can set up quarterly taxes that may be easier for you, or of course you can do taxes come tax time. So the big takeaway here, if you're considering signing up for any of these platforms really, is watching what the industry is doing. Now, I know a lot of you may be just doing this part-time, maybe doing this in between jobs, what have you, and I certainly want you to maximize your earnings when doing so. If you plan on doing this for at least more than a month, I encourage you to check out yourdrivermike.com. That's my website. It has a masterclass on a delivery. It's gonna make sure you make the most money so you're not wasting your time when you're out there driving. But things may be changing in this space with that whole classification. Now, in my opinion, again, I've seen this argument over the last five years, and it really took, what, the last four years for just Uber and Lyft to be reclassified, and even that's not set in stone. So having said that, nothing here is set in stone. The controversies, the potential reclassification, that's really just at that until we see something that's actually set in stone here for these delivery companies. So the best thing that I can recommend for you, honestly, is to maximize your revenue and do the best that you can on these apps right now in the current classification, in the current landscape. Because we can't think ahead. Honestly, we can get the cart in front of the horse here, we have to work with the current systems that we have, and currently, you are an independent contractor. So let me know down below in the comments if you wanna keep it that way, or if you do see some value in being an employee. And if you got value in this video, definitely leave a like, and do make sure to check out my Amazon storefront so when you are out there, you have the best accessories. You can click or tap the screen right now for my most recent video, as well as a video recommended for you, and I'll see you in the next one.